Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer and welcome to your 20th Microsoft Visual C Sharp tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be covering the toolbox and some of the items that you can add to your form um, to improve functionality and so that the user can interact with those and make it perform uh, tasks that they want it to do. Now whenever you add these controls to a toolbox they do absolutely nothing until you add the code that tells them what to do when they are interacted with. So if you want to see the toolbox, if it's not already here on your right, you can go ahead and click this little icon right here that's in your uh, second menu bar, almost just all the way over to the right. Or you can press Control plus W and X. And you can see here it pops up this toolbox. Now I'll go ahead and drag this out here. Oh, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Okay, so you can see here we have a label which a label is basically just text that doesn't do anything. Now you can make it do stuff if the user clicks it or they mouse over or a whole bunch of other stuff. But basically it's just used to label things. So we've got the link label which turns up blue with an underline which is basically a link. It'll take them to a website, it'll take them to a folder, whatever you want it to link to. Um, you've got a list box which is similar to a test box, test box, text box, um, but it it has different items in it, not just lines. There's one item and then the next line down you're going to have a second item and so forth. So you can um, access indexes of that list box. Now with the text box there's no indexes so list box lists different items. We've got a list view which is basically like a, a more complex list, list box where you can have different tabs um, and it, it's all integrated into one list box. Instead of having to put several list boxes next to each other you can make a list view. Um, you got yourself your mass text, text box, we're not going to be using that much. Um, you got your month calendar, which um, is basically a month calendar. Now you can play with these, add them to your forms, and see what they do um, on your own. So we've got our notify icon, which will um, notify the person of an event happening down in the bottom right corner of their screen. A little bubble will pop up, and these are very useful. They're very fun to use. Um, numeric up down, which you can just put numbers in there, and they can move it up and down. Picture box, you can put a picture in there got your progress bar um, there's a radio button now the difference between a radio button and a uh, checkbox is that only one radio button can be selected at a time so with checkboxes check you can check a whole bunch of them but with radio buttons you can only select one out of your options um, you've got a rich text box which allows you to do a lot more than a normal text box um, such as change the fonts I think you can put pictures in there you can make it the font bigger and a whole bunch of other stuff you've got your basic text box which has a set font um, got a tooltip now basically what a tooltip does is when you mouse over something a little bubble will pop up next to the mouse and give the user information about what that control does or whatever you want to put in there uh, we got a tree view um, we got a, a web browser now we're not going to be using tree views very much um, you can research those if you want but we're not going to be covering them uh, we got a, a web browser which is what it uh, says it is it's a web browser you drag it on here and it's just like a a little window and it can take the user to a website. Now we've got um, containers. Now what a container is is like let's say here's a tab control. So you've got a whole bunch of tabs in here that you can go to. Um, you've got pointers, flow layouts, group box, panel, split container, uh, table layout panel, and tab control. Now you can add menus to it. You can add a pointer, a context menu strip. Um, you can add a normal menu strip you can add a status strip which is on my um, calculator program it tells the status of the program Let's see here um, you've got a tool strip container now we also have um, a whole bunch of other components we've got pointer, background worker, um, directory searcher, a whole bunch of other stuff they're not going to be covering um, yet we may get onto it later in the future um, we will cover timers though timers wait a certain amount of time um, to perform an event or some code based on what time you set it to. Um, you can print documents um, which is very useful. Um, instead of having to write a whole bunch of code and try to get a document to print, it will automatically open up a print document dialog and they can select a printer that's already on their network and print to that. Um, we've got a whole bunch of other dialogs that are really fun to use. You've got a pointer dial, uh, just a normal pointer. You've got a color dialog to change colors of whatever you want to change colors. Folder browser dialog which lets the user user select a folder as like a directory to save their file. 
uh, or not to save that file, as like a directory to look in for certain things. Font dialog, which is to change the font. Open file dialog, which obviously opens a file. And save file dialog, which will save the file. Um, got some WPF stuff. Uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, I think that's what it stands for. We are not going to be going into that anytime soon. Um, so take a look at these, drag them, add them to your form, look at their properties. And once you get comfortable with um, the properties of these and how they look, um, then go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.